In this tutorial, we're going to cover the testimonial section. Really easy to do. Let's go ahead and go to the back end, and we want to find the section for testimonials. We'll see that right here. And it really, really easy. We just give it our name. So, Joey Schmoey, give it your testimonial, would be right here. Obviously, that's a little too long. Whoops. Um, I would advise to give the same thing for your name, for your testimonial, as the same thing as the author. That way you can obviously keep track of who it is. Okay? We can order it, but we also have another order function, which I'll go over real briefly. Okay, I'm just going to type the five in there. All right, there's our, there's our testimonial. We have our four, or excuse me, our three that are in, on this page right now. Go ahead and refresh. There's our Joey Schmoe down at the bottom because I ordered it. Okay. Also, if you want to, we have a reorder right here. Just like we do um, this, this reorder, you can actually do this for the homepage slider and a couple other sections, but we can actually just come in here and reset this thing. Now it's reordered. I don't have to change, I don't have to worry about a date. I don't have to worry about the number I pop in there. I can just drag and drop and order this thing. Really easy doing testimonials. And, um, just to point out, in case you've missed it or forgot, it's a section for the home page. That's where you pull those from. So right here, this is coming from the home page, and that is, if you remember, it's set up under theme options, under home page, under testimonial. So I can come in here and I can actually choose Joey Schmoey. Showing up. Here we are. As well, as the zoom, whoops, sorry, wrong button. As the sidebar, we have sidebar testimonials. You can do the same thing. So I can come in to appearance, widgets, blog sidebar, find the testimonial, and then choose the one that I would like. Very easy.